Hello everybody, welcome to the cross, cross Platform Cup. We've got PS4 versus Xbox, Calcium, uh, Calcium Cars with representing the PS4 with Chorfs against Glasshammer representing Xbox with Chorfs. He got a perfect defense there, uh, Glasshammer, but it hasn't helped him much, has it? Because Calcium's team is way better. Calcium's gone with a break tackle on both bulls. Um, block your hands, block frenzy, fair enough. And uh, two claw pom. Only two guard. Or three claw pom. <laughs> and only two guard. So, like, maybe, maybe he could have dropped the frenzy and got an extra guard in. Uh, but, oh, three claw, disgust. Three claw pom is, is obviously. There's going to be dice involved, a lot of dice. But, um, yeah, it's obviously naturally, it's a huge advantage, isn't it? And then Glasshammer doesn't have piling on at all. I think he should have 100%, like, you know, move this mighty blow over to piling on, swap mighty blow for break tackle. Like, you, to not have break tackle on both bulls is a bit horrible, in my opinion. I also don't like putting. I would have probably just put three hobs on the line. Mm, don't know. But uh, yeah, so he so he got a he got a perfect defense, but it doesn't help him that much because yeah, I think the Xbox team builds were worse than the others for sure. Yeah, believe me, shit's a bit harsh. But <laughs> let's try not to be as as internety as <laughs> as, as uh, possible. But yeah, you know, like saying sixty five percent isn't isn't great it is it's still good though isn't it you know just because mole's the best and got 80 percent, it doesn't mean that 65 percent win rate's bad is it it's still good it's still better than most people but yeah i, I, I don't like the uh, i didn't like the a lot of the xbox builds or maybe it's any of the xbox builds this is a very jim pow this is a very a very jim powy turn isn't it i finally got one God, I don't know what the fuck's happening here, this fucking bashing or whatever it is. I didn't like the assassin multi blocker, I know, even though he knew he was playing me, I think I would have gone with more guard. Yeah, I, I think 65% is fine, yeah. Good, it's good, isn't it? It just is good, you can't even argue about it because 50% is, is like average, isn't it, basically. Well, in fact, sub 50% will be average. One. Sub 50% will be average. It's like in poker, 85% of people make a loss. So, you know, if you look at somebody and say, oh, their ROI is 20%, that's not bad, that's still good. Yeah, Wolf Bark, it's, it doesn't mean a lot. Because, as I say, you can look at Inarians, which is basically played exclusively Wood Elves. Um, Mole's pretty much played only tier one teams. Ducky's tried a few different teams, but it's still done really well, hasn't it? So it's it's all a bit pointless, yeah. It, but they, it's again, it's better than nothing, isn't it? You know, it's 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 not irrelevant. It's better than it's some frame of reference rather than zero frame of reference. But even even that, even that, even if it means that they, it still tells you that they don't play goblins off lanes, doesn't it? No, at the end of the day, it's better. It's something's better than anything else. So. There you go. There's my first cast. Turn two. Bosh. Piling on, getting the cars. Apple failure. Good night. Let his claw mighty blow get blitzed. Maybe he shouldn't have. Greed is Maybe good. Maybe he shouldn't have allowed his claw Greed mighty blow right. blitz in turn two. Greed works. But it's hard because he's got those two and the bulls to protect. But still. It was a good greed block, yeah. Typical, typical greed from cards. <laughs> Would I end up on miss next game? Hmm. I don't know, it's hard to say. I guess you, you imagine you're going to take more cards against against Calcium, so you probably don't save it for... But, I mean, he, it's arguably his best chaff. Um, so I can see why he thinks it's... But, you know... Yeah, draws count as half a win and half a loss for him, exactly as they do on, in the in the ladder ranking. Yeah, I would think it's probably not worth to apple it. But 
I can see why he, why he would. He thinks he needs both claws to have a chance. Um, but then also you need both bulls. You've got to imagine that calcium is going to cause more pass. So I guess in that in that respect, you save it. Uh, it's it's res though, Harry Koo, so it's just it's just missed next game. There was no uh, there's no consideration in this tournament to burns or anything. So it's really the best use of your the best use of your uh, apo is on a badly hurt or a or an early KO. So he made a he made a two assist no three four assist. I thought there was a player there. Four assist foul with the with without dirty player, but onto a thick skull guy gets sent off. So Kaz is himself there. Arguably unlucky, on the other hand. I mean, like, I think he wasn't going to blitz this turn, so he, he didn't, you know, you don't really need to stun this turn. So I think maybe it was a bad foul. But yeah, double removal from C -Pom. That That's why C Pom's so disgusting, because the, the one tool to deal with it, which is fouling, isn't really very effective at dealing with it. Well, isn't consistently effective with dealing with it. Obviously, when it works, it's incredibly effective. It just kills me. Um, another Kaz. That was a badly hurt. So yeah, if he'd saved it for one turn, he would have had the. Uh, I guess I would have probably saved it for Lainik because Calcium's probably going to make more Kaz, and then he literally made one the next turn. So <laughs> yeah, Bet much better target to foul, not having the fixed goal. Um, but you know, obviously, gets luckier in that he doesn't get sent off. But obviously now Calcium's in a much better position to foul, already re having removed three players permanently. <laughs> On the FDP 2018. He'd hit the air. He'd hit this hobby, would have got a knockdown. Maybe he should have done that. Oh, well, he certainly he certainly achieved that, didn't he, with back? <laughs> wow, huge, huge push for calcium here if he wants it, isn't it? Calcium could get on the core commentary, yeah. Calcium can get on it if he wants to be. Um, I will get on the uh, I'll get on the old Discord here. And if he wants to be, he can be. All right. Yeah, it is crazy how much better Calcium's team is. Yeah, even if he'd only gone like. Um, Hippie's only gone two, claw palm, and then duck, you know, so it's arguable whether Hippie or Calcium's team's better. Obviously, Calcium's team is much more dangerous to face, um, but Hippie's kind of more consistent at winning. Uh, also, Glasshammer has this fucking blood sure hands guy who isn't even on the pitch, you know, like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, the fuck is this player? This is a horrible waste of skills, in my opinion. They should have got all gone on there. Uh, all gone on, on bulls and, and war uh, not warriors, blockers. <laughs> yes, exactly, Wolfbark. It, it does. Except there was a way to deal with dirty player in the old days, which was your own day. And at least dirty player, you know, and fouling was somewhat um, balanced across races, isn't it? Obviously. Obviously undead, and Kemri Kem could make much more use of fouling than, than Elves did. But still, Elves would still be able to, you know, foul out a crucial Tomb Guardian or whatever. Um, whereas, you know, other teams just don't get to use piling uh, Claw at all. Claw Palm at all, so... Or even piling on, very rarely, so... I, I like the, the kind of symmetry of Dirty Player more, for sure. On the other hand, it, it gave Chaos a niche, rather than just being a shit team at low TV that doesn't get that good at high TV.
Yeah, fair enough, Valena. Yeah, it seems pretty one-sided so far. I mean, as you would expect, he's just getting the pile on. Continuously. And as long as he rolls vaguely what you'd expect him to roll, it's bad times, isn't it, for, uh, for the other one. I would fat in in Living Room Book 6, uh, Living Book 4, sorry, but not so much in CRP. Maybe, just because they're pretty cheap and you can have reserves and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's it's the nerfing of, of fouling is is what this is what has made panning on too strong, hasn't it? Because you're actually safer on the ground. It's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Why my name is Wang. <laughs> what a name that is. <laughs> what a name that is. Holy shit. It's so good. Yeah, I didn't pile on a KO. He didn't go out the Andy Davo school of, of piling on, did he? <laughs> Ball two squares away from your end zone. <laughs> Just pile on. Pile on for a removal. Um, more than a year ago, they nerfed piling on. A long time ago, Blinking Duck. I mean, Blood Bowl has been, has been on the go for like 20... 28? No. Wait. Can I do maths correctly? Yeah, 28... 28, 30 years I think total, but this new one 24 years. Um, so they nerfed fouling a while ago, years ago, and um, I mean they've they've nerfed it several times, but the pre the, it, this edition of the this edition of the rules is nerfed from the previous edition of the rules. Although that was quite oh there's the, there's the huge apo. Um, you know yeah he'd have loved to have saved the apo for that, wouldn't he? But then, on the other hand, he would probably apple that that chalk blocker. So. Yep, huge piling on. Much skill. <laughs> Very wild. <laughs> and Dragon magazine. I right, fair enough then, blinking. Good. Yeah. So, so you know that. Well, there was first edition, then there was second edition. And then in third edition, fouling was outrageously powerful. And then the living rule book, they nerfed it significantly. And well, just the Sigurd's injury rule nerf, nerfed everything. And then they've, they've basically systematically nerfed fouling th through all the living rule books until the current one, where, where it's the worst it's ever been. Uh, what we have here is the worst fouling's ever been. In Blood Bowl 2016, fouling gets a bit of a buff because you can argue the call. So um, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. You you need the threat of a dirty player as well. Just just the threat of a dirty player will make your opponent not pile on when they should have done, won't they? And stuff like that. So I think it's good to have the threat of a, of a dirty player. Yeah. It's just whether you need to uh, whether you can give it up and stuff. Yeah, it's fucked here, isn't he? Old glass hammer. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous, uh. Ridiculous attrition from Claw Pom, which isn't that ridiculous. Like, it's not that crazy for, for Claw Pom to do this. It's all like that. And that is why it's a problem, isn't it? Um, yeah, exactly, Blink and Duck. Yeah, like, this isn't that crazy. It's, which is stupid. It really isn't that crazy. This isn't that. It's not that lucky for Carlson to have done all this. But obviously the games where you don't do this record when you struggle a bit. Yeah, Kaz did get a bit of loose in his play here, but then obviously after making these Kaz, you kind of expect that, don't you? So um Yeah. How many games? This is the second well it's the third matchup from uh, the cross platform cup. Actually, the, f the first matchup was a disconnect, so this really is game number three. It's only the second game that I've covered, but it is a technically game number three anyway. Um, 
done that one and the uh, the Champs Ladder game as well. Quarter final. Good morning, VIP sleeper Uh So yeah, obviously calcium absolutely dominating. Both both KOs staying out as well. So um, yeah, I can I can see this being a two 0 win, pretty easily. It doesn't look like he's got much hope now, does he, Glasshammer? Poor Xbox, they can make bad teams and getting punished for it. But I mean, even if they'd had identical teams, you'd have probably just lost in terms of losing the toss and Clawbomb doing what Clawbomb does. The huge perfect defence there, really affecting the match. <laughs> Johnny Fire. Brilliant. Um, I got my first Blood Bowl set in 1990. Um, it did come out in 88, first edition, but I didn't, I didn't play first edition. Oh no, maybe it's 86 was first edition. Maybe it was 88 was second edition. Maybe it's 86 or 87 was first edition, but uh, I started with second edition in 1990. Because I remember, I remember the shop that I bought it from and stuff. So. Hey, it was second, yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. Ah, I, you could have just come onto the uh, onto my Discord and chat tastic, but um, right, that's... hello, Carlson. Hi, mate. How you doing? Oh, glorious! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if um, I don't know if I want to follow Fashbinder. To be honest, um, he's a bit unfollowable, isn't he? But uh... <laughs> the, the console peasant is here. <laughs> <laughs> glorious. <laughs> uh, um, do you know what? This game was over by this point, really, wasn't it? I, I got some nice dice. I greed rerolled in turn two. Do you know what? I actually. Um, because I rolled nothing but pushes in the first turn, I thought, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I know how that feels. <laughs> and it was, it was great, wasn't it? You know, talk about the perfect greed reroll. Um, <laughs> it resulted in a casualty and an apo fail. And at that point, I'm thinking, poor old Glasshammer's in big trouble now. Yeah. Um, my, team, my team was a slightly better build than his, a lot better maybe. Um, do you know what? With, with Clawpom, you can play around guard a little bit, can't you? You know, you, yeah. good players can play around guard a little bit. You know, guard wins games, but good players can also isolate and take out individual players and negate the guard. But I was amazed he didn't guard lock me in turn one with the yeah. perfect defense. Yeah. So there, there were a few things he could have done, weren't there? But he, I don't think he played bad. I just got much better dice than he did. So, uh, hey. <laughs> you know, but... By the you know, one nil up, he's what three or four men down, and I'm 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 just cruise control now, you know. <laughs> Six players out, he filled both KO rolls. We filled four <laughs> out of four KO rolls. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I don't care who you are. You you unless you're an absolute scrub, you're really going to struggle. You know, um, if you unless you're playing a scrub, you're going to struggle to play against that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That is. <laughs> and then he fails the shoe hands pick up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, sometimes Nuffle just kicks you in the teeth continuously, Danny. You know, it's, it's... yes. Yeah. And none more so than when you're playing against Clawpon, because that's it. The more players down you are, it just it just snowballs more and more, doesn't it? It just makes it easier yeah. and easier. Yeah. To, uh... Clawpon, you know, I'm, we've we've obviously had many discussions about the power of Clawpon, and it's undoubted. You know, um, there are ways you can fix it, aren't they? With, with a PO fix, um, make it an unmodified roll, unnerf DP as we've been banging on for a decade now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think unnerfing DP would be big, but then the counter argument to that is, well, 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 Chaos or Nurgle would get the benefit of the DPs as well. Yes. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I agree with that to a point, but you, you're just not going to lay down your claw palm guys as much, are you? You know, it's, it's suddenly going to become pretty risky. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I don't know. I think... I think piling on is a bit stupid, to be honest, <laughs> if yeah. I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I think the removing it from Blood Bowl 2016 was the right call, to be honest, because I just think it's I just think it's the the idea of it is stupid, you know. In this in this game where technically fouling is banned, but it still happens a lot, <laughs> you know. And like, yeah. there's all these fucking minotaurs running around and fucking bull centaurs and chaos warriors. Just putting yourself on the ground on purpose is just not something anybody would even think about doing, would they? No, absolutely not. Oh, Christ, in L LRB4, um, deliberately grounding yourself was a suicide. Yeah. It was suicide, wasn't it? You yeah. know, because um, DP at a plus two. Um, yeah, you're right, third edition, dirty player. It used to stack, didn't it? Um, oh, with other skills, and it was just insane. <laughs> <laughs> he, failed, he failed the show. Sure, feet go for it then as well. Yeah, um, I know. The, the, at this point, Glasshammer must have been thinking, "Yeah, do you know what? Wave the white flag." You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Living room, uh, sorry, third edition. It, fouling was complete insanity because it was it was plus two from dirty player, plus one from mighty blow. You could pro it, plus two yeah. from claws and razor sharp claws. And I know. And it was just the dice roll determined if they were dead, wasn't it? So on yeah, a ten yeah. plus, they're dead. They're dead. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Or was it? Was it something like? No, the, I don't know if there were badly hurts and serious injuries then. It was just a casualty, wasn't it? Um, it's, it's a long time ago, isn't it? But well, when, when it also... first came out, when it first came out, the injury table was ten badly hurt, eleven serious injury, twelve That's right. dead. Yeah, yeah. And you could literally have. You could literally have, and I had this. I had this on a storm vermin, and it was. <laughs> I, I, I told I Gary Moore. Saying. I told Gary Moore. No, I told Jervis Johnson. I told Jervis Johnson this, and his eyes fucking popped out of his head as I explained <laughs> that I had a Skaven with pro, claw, razor sharp claws, mighty blow, dirty player. <clears throat> so on a seven, with a reroll, I kill your guy. <laughs> Yeah, seven yeah. plus <laughs> it's insanity isn't it it's yeah. insanity um I, I i i used to run a dp heavy undead team because regen worked on a two plus back in third edition <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing they were indestructible do you know what i mean yeah. it was just glorious <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was the storm vermin but i like i like to think that i got i i uh, i got the the i was had some part in the sigurd's injury table which that that came out of some dude called sigurd you know i right. didn't like the fact that mighty blow increased your chances of killing somebody rather than badly hurting them and then obviously that's where we're all used to that now and wouldn't <coughs> yeah, think about yeah. not having it that, that's a good mechanic isn't it you know the, yeah. the, the casualty table i i like the casualty table as it stands i, do, I don't know if there's much room for improvement on that yeah yeah, I think that was I think that was a great move. But yeah, Regen being two plus was insane. <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do they do? You know, for LRB five and CRP, they just shove a stick up Kenry's ass and wiggle it, don't they? You know, with DK, <laughs> which is without a doubt one of the stupidest nega traits in the game. You know, yeah. it's just if, nuts. If anything, right? What they could have done was they could instead of bringing out this skill decay. They could have, they could have brought out a skill called Ever Living, right? Shout out to uh, Thundercats there. <laughs> yeah, Mumra. <laughs> and they could have had Ever Living and given that to Tomb Guardians and given Tomb Guardians a two plus reroll, a two plus yeah. uh, regen. You know, if anything. Yeah. If anything, yeah. I'll, I'll, that's what I would have done, just so that Tomb Guardians could never die and they would just be insane, and it'd make up for the fact that Kemri are shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but instead, they give them re they give them fucking decay and, and murder them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, as you well know, on Fumble LRB four, I played Kemri a lot. I loved Kemri, um, mm -hmm. and you know that's when they had four mummies as opposed to Tomb Guardians. Yeah. And but decay absolutely ruined Kemri as a team. You know, I'm, and I, I love Kemri, so it sort of you know broke my heart a little bit, but. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, then I'm, 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 I haven't got Blood Bowl up on my PC, but I actually, I, I'd stopped concentrating at this point. So I'd actually run a, 
Chaos Dwarf blocker down, an extra two squares there were from where I wanted him to be. Yeah. And I thought, oh fuck it, I'm just going to GFI twice to get him back to where I should, where he should be. You know, and that, that that's the story of the game, isn't it? You know, I, I couldn't yeah. do anything wrong. Um, I, 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 I literally stopped concentrating at this point. It was just paint by numbers. It really was. Yeah, yeah that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think I acknowledged it during. Um, during the stream as well, I'm like, oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might have been the one where you know you click on a player, but it doesn't actually click on him. So you try uh, to move him to the next to the next square, and it just moves your already selected player back. But yeah, I and yeah, then you end up doing a 33 percent dodge or something, don't you? And yeah. you think, oh my god, no! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's super annoying. <laughs> but yeah, um, poor old Glass Hammer. Yeah, my understanding is that the Xbox boys didn't really put a lot of thought or effort into building their teams and they did it um Tomidus, I think did it for them very last minute um so and and it showed didn't it it really showed yeah yeah I think they were uh yeah I think there was was yeah I, I think, think all that, of I their teams were worse I think yeah um, yeah I think personally that the PC teams were the best <laughs> oh absolutely without a shadow of a doubt um when I look at, you know, I preferred, um, I pre who, who, had, who had the Chaos Dwarfs um, for the PC? Bleeding Hippie. Yeah, I preferred Bleeding Hippie's team to mine, but I, I, I was playing a bit of a role when I created mine, you know? <laughs> I, I, went ma I went Max Clawpom because that's what people wanted to see, and I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it as well. Yeah. You know, so that, that's really why I did what I did. But, um, yeah, I, um, yeah, Bleeding Hippie's team was the optimal Chaos Dwarf build. Um, out of the free, and yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Jimmy. I think on in general, um, the PC builds have been the best, and dare I say, you know, I, I'm, you know, I banged on a great deal about the five nil scoreline. I think it's a little bit flattering to the PC, but there's no mm -hmm. question that you deserved the win on the week. I think four one would have probably been a fairer scoreline, but no one can argue with the five nil really. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's it. I think I think we definitely deserve to win, and obviously got lucky to win by such a such a crazy crazy margin. Because all the games were close, but then I yeah. think yeah. Every, every, I, th I do think every PC player deserved to win. You know, so yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, it, it's not to say I think um, as I say I've, I've gone on record by saying that I think the only game that a PC player probably should have lost was Ducky Tomadus. You know, but then Tomadus. <laughs> fucked up at key points as well and i think one of the things that upc boys did amazingly well at is you properly exploited the fuck ups you know when yeah. when the xbox guys made a mistake you guys were all over it you know yeah you had to roll dice to break that cage but who sideline cages against wood elves for god's sake you know with leaping war dancers around you, you you've got to be insane or crap <laughs> <laughs> to do that and yeah I'm yeah. sorry <laughs> yeah Adam the Killers made the point that every game was close especially Muldy yeah M Muldy's game wasn't close <laughs> that was a massacre wasn't it it was just a proper massacre <laughs> yeah yeah that was that was that one wasn't there uh, you know you couldn't you couldn't really give like although Mull didn't do anything wrong you know there wasn't it wasn't Mull's great play that won that game was it he just no just no demolished him completely yeah, same way. So as, as it stands, um, um, so as it stands, the uh, PC won five nil. Um, PS4 beat the Xbox four one. Um, so it's everything to play for in week three. I think it's um, set up really nicely for week three. Yes. Well, at the um, moment, calcium. <laughs> this is uh, this is currently two one to. Uh, Oops. <laughs> to PS4 Whoops. Now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of my uh, co-commentary forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, this is the danger of doing them when I'm doing them, isn't it? You know, if people, for the people who care yeah, the most. Sorry, I, anyway. yeah, brain off there for a second. My apologies, Jimmy. No, um, right. <laughs> but um, you know, I'm. Yeah, it's. I'm. I'm really looking for. I'm playing World Sitar on Wednesday at nine o'clock GMT, I believe. Yeah. Um, I will just have, and give me two seconds. I'll just have a look in Discord and confirm. Oh, eight o'clock GMT. Um, so I don't know if you're available to stream at all. Um, Wednesday, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. If not, I'll stream it myself. Um, but 
um, it, it's always nice if somebody else streams it because you can focus on the game. Although, um, do you know what? I'm just I've just got murder on my mind. Um, <laughs> you know, if I roll a few dice, World Sitar's in deep trouble, and he, he's oh, in a world of it. <laughs> yeah, if, if World Sitar's like, if World Sitar is three men down by turn three or whatever, he's he's pretty much done. I mean, he, yeah. he was he did well though, to fight back in the in the last game, didn't he? Amazingly, um, so. um, I'm I was so impressed with the way he played because, um, I, again, I've said a few times, I don't think he had any right to win with that team build. I, I just didn't like the team build specifically, mm. the lack of guard on the black orc blockers. You know. Um, I, I thought it was a horrible team build, and he did brilliant with it, didn't he? You, mm -hmm. you can't fault him for it. So, uh, yeah, respect is gained by by him. But yep. yeah, so, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm week three, everything to play for. You know, everyone expects the PS4 to get thumped the same way um, um, the Xbox has been thumped. But I don't know. We might have a few surprises in for I, you, big boys. I don't think. That. I don't think. I don't think anyone expects the PS4 to get thumped. I mean, every, everyone. Everyone knows how to play, don't they? So they're not going to be. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to be walkovers unless the dice decide. Which, um, which you know, obviously the dice could very much decide your game against World Sitar, and uh, you know, some other games. You know, I mean, the the cars are always going to come, aren't they? You know. In, in various games like it's just that if yeah. you've got three claw pom you've got a much greater chance of the dice deciding it and just saying no to world sitar <laughs> but um, right anyway I'll, Although, I'll wrap up yeah. the, wrap up the video okay then so. mate thank you thanks for having me on mate it's always a pleasure to speak to you and i'll catch up with you soon oh thanks calcium thanks for watching Cheers, if mate. you enjoyed Glorious. don't forget to leave a like and subscribe <laughs> and stay fantastic